Good day, Crustacean Nation. Sir Prawnalot here with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about these EVA mats that I'm using under my aquariums. As you can see, I have added my latest tanks onto the rack, um, and then because they don't have a bottom or an edge or anything like that, um, I've got to use something under them. Um, my options were either styrofoam or this stuff, and I like the look of this, um, and it's pretty good. Um, now you probably can't use it for bigger tanks um, over three foot, or you still can, but it's a bit riskier. Um, I've heard stories of it warping a bit and squishing down and getting uneven, um, which causes cracks and stuff. So I wouldn't use this here, like I said, over four feet, maybe three feet. Um, but for what I'm doing, I think it will work fine and it should be good. Um, it's really easy to cut up and stuff. Um, I did make a mess on this one a bit, um, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. Um, you can buy them in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, this is the one I got, so I got four of these uh, for about 20 bucks. So I'm using EVA foam that is one centimeter thick by 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Um, that 60 centimeters does include the little bits on the edge here that you can see um, that snap on and off like a jigsaw. Um, so what I went ahead and did is I cut off a bit, and the bit that I cut off I popped onto here, um, so as you can see there's a bit there that connects and then this connects to another one which is the same. Um, all in all I think it's going to be pretty good, uh, it'll be interesting to see how it goes, I uh, definitely suggest it if you have you know, if you have smaller tanks and you need something for underneath them. Um, it is very important to have something underneath them, especially for me because I'm on MDF, um, so if it does warp at all at least I'll be a little bit protected, which is good. So although it may not be cheaper than styrofoam, um, just for the looks and I guess the ease for me to buy it at least, it was definitely an option for me. Um, styrofoam still works pretty well and this works I reckon pretty well. Uh, I'll iterate again though, make sure you're only using it for smaller tanks because um, I have heard some horror stories. And um, yeah, I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with how it looks with my tanks. Uh, these tanks will have bottoms in it anyway, but you know, it doesn't really, or substrate I should say, um, but yeah, it still looks pretty good. Covers up the white MDF boards. Um, so if you're going to go ahead and use this, uh, just make sure when you're cutting it, you cut along the grain of it. Um, I found out the hard way that it does have a kind of grain, so for this, um, you can't see it at all really, um, but if you cut, say, this way, I'm just guessing as well, um, it may have a rougher cut than cutting the other way, just because of the way it's built. Um, so, for example, <laughs> um, so if you cut it like the wrong way, you get this sort of staggered and chunky bits that pop off, um, like that a bit. But then if you cut it the right way, it's not as jagged. As you can see, it sort of just slices through. Um, so just be careful when you're cutting it with most things. Uh, this is an unfortunate piece that I cut. Um, <laughs> I got a little too into it and I kept cutting off all the jigsaw bits. Um, I wasn't meant to and I did, but this will work for my other tank because it's 60 centimeters. Another use for this EVA or camper mat foam is behind your tank. Um, a little bit more expensive than just cardboard or something, but it does look pretty nice. Um, it's got more of, I guess, a matte look to it, so it does look like, you know, a background like that, in a way. <laughs> um, so you can really see, and like the jigsaw bits there, the difference. Um, so if I had more, I probably would do this, but I'm not fussed on this tank for background. And um, yeah, it's just another little thing it can be used for. Uh, we'll just quickly show as well how you can snap it onto anything, so as long as this piece here, the slanted piece, uh, can line up with the other one, it'll just like easily slide in like a jigsaw. Um, but then you could take this piece, you know, take it off of this one, if I can, <laughs> um, and then once again you have to line it up a bit, but say line it up with that one, pop it on there for whatever reason you may need to. Um, so that's one of the main reasons I liked it and I chose it, because it is a bit adaptable if you need to. So um, yeah, I think uh, it's definitely worth getting if you have some smaller tanks that need something underneath them. So I hope you enjoyed this little video, uh, I was just sort of sharing this. 
Um, Blake's Aquatics actually got me onto the idea. He said it's pretty good. Um, so I did some more research into it, and yeah, it definitely seems like it'd be great. Uh, once again, I'm going to give it a good test, and I'll probably have another video out in the far future saying, yeah, this stuff's great, um, and that it's working really well. <laughs> so um, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something, and I hope you, you know, put this on your shopping list. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.